Getting leads for your business is really hard and doing cold outreach absolutely sucks. I have built a six-figure consulting business without sending one cold email. But I have this one trick that gets me hot leads straight from Facebook. So it's not really realistic for me to monitor all of these different Facebook groups and wait for somebody to ask for marketing services. So that's why this AI powered automation is working while I'm sleeping. Let me show you how it works. So twice a day, it scrapes all of the new posts from the Facebook groups that I need to follow, puts all of these posts together and then lets this AI worker to filter out only the posts that are really relevant to me and then sends it to Slack where I get an overview of all of the new posts that might interest me. And then I can just go to Facebook and answer to them in the best possible way to capture the lead. And this method works way better than cold outreach because these people are already looking for the service I'm providing. So by the end of this video, you will know how to find the right Facebook groups to follow, how to set up the Facebook scraper, how to set up the AI assistant and also their automatic alerts. And then also how to reach out in the best way to capture the leads. Okay, so first go to Facebook and then start searching for groups that might be relevant to your industry. So for me, maybe entrepreneurs and here I'm getting some options and it's really good to filter by groups and only watching public groups. And then you check out all of these groups. Uh, it's a good idea to check if the quality is good. I recommend to open these up in a new tab so you can see which one are more valuable and which ones are more spammy. And once you evaluate those and decide which ones you like, you will need these URLs. So leave these tabs open for now. And basically what you want to focus here is that you're picking groups that have new posts every day and that your ideal customers are active in this group. And also the groups have to be public for this to work and it's good if it's business focused talk and not just spamming and if you are really in a niche service area then these groups work even better then you might only find really small groups but if you get the lead from there it's more valuable and now in the next step we are using a tool called appify.com so go to their homepage and log in and once you're logged in of course if you don't have an account yet then sign up first once you are here go to the store and search for Facebook groups. And let's pick this first Facebook group scraper. And here we can start setting up the web scraper. Here you can see that this is $45 per month. And by default with the free plan with Appify, you get $5 credit here. I have used some of it already and this uh, resets every month. So with this scraper, because it's a bit more complicated scraper, we need to pay $45 per month, but there are lots of other scrapers that we can use just with this $5 credit free. And you can see another video of mine, I will link it here, that's using this for Reddit scraping. But as I said, this $45 per month might just be worth it to you if you are getting really good clients and you are making money out of it. Okay, and here we can set up this actor. As it's called, if you are just planning to use it with this one specific use case, then you can use the actor. If you want to use it with different groups, with different search methods, then you can start creating a task and let's call it YouTube testing. So I'm going to use a task because I have already set up several of these similar scrapers for Facebook groups. So I can't just use one actor, but the setup is similar for both. So basically here, we just have to add all of the groups that we want to scrape from. So this is where we go back to these URLs and we just copy and paste it here and add another one. And let's add this here as well. And let's do the third one as well. Okay, and then we can close these. Now this number of posts, you can keep it at 20, but it depends now how many new posts are coming in every day for every group. So I think 20 is quite enough. And then the sorting order, let's do it only new posts. And the searching by the letter or keyword, as you can see here, it probably won't work. So it would be nice if I could just filter by the keywords that are important to me, but unfortunately it doesn't really work, but we have a better solution. We will let AI to handle it. So the time frame, we want to use this relative filter and let's keep it at zero. So this way it only gets us the posts that were made today. And then the run options are really not that important right now. So let's just save this. And then we can run the scraper once. So it will be available to us in the next steps. 
And here's the actor going around and finding all of the new posts from the day from all of these groups that I added. Okay, and now it went through the whole thing and it found 58 results. So 58 new posts from the three groups that we added. So it's quite a lot of data to go through manually. So the next step is go to this menu here and go to schedules and create a new schedule. And here you can rename it. And then we can set up the frequency. So you can do a daily schedule where once a day the scraper finds all the new posts. Or what I found useful is doing an hourly one and checking the custom option here and repeating the schedule on specific hours and doing it twice per day. So sometime in the morning, so let's say 9 a.m. and also let's say 6 p.m. And then before we save and enable, we have to pick the actor or the task. So since I was using the task, but you can use the general actor as well. So depending on what you started with, just pick the right one. And here I have the YouTube testing. Let's save it. And once we have this set up as well, we can save and enable. And now automatically twice per day, the scraper goes to all of these Facebook groups that I picked and gets me all of the latest posts. And what I forgot to mention is that you can use a seven day trial with this scraper. So you don't have to start paying for it right away, but you can just check it out how many leads it gets you and if it's worth it to continue. So now we have set up the scraper and we have set up a schedule to make it go through the Facebook post twice a day. And now let's go on to the next step. So now let's go to make.com and if you don't have an account yet sign up for it and you can start out with a free account you will have like thousand operations per month and once you outgrow it you can upgrade to the core plan uh, the monthly price is just above ten dollars so it's pretty affordable and you can start out by using the free plan so let's go back and once you're here, just create a new scenario. So I'm going to show you how to set it up step by step here. But if you want a shortcut, then there's a way to go and check out AIMarketingMasters.com, which is my private community. By joining this, you will get access to this automation blueprint and all of the others. So you can just take the blueprint here, download it to your computer. And once you're in make.com, you can just import the blueprint and it will populate here and you just have to connect your own accounts and it's already going to work. And the prompts are already going to be inside this blueprint as well. But if you want to do it step-by-step, step, then follow along. So the first module we're going to check for Appify. So open it up. And again, if you were using the actor, you're going to watch actor runs. So I use the task because I'm using the same scraper, the same actor with several different tasks. So I have different scrapers set up with this. So if you're only using the one, you use an actor, but if you're like me and you want to use it for different, for different groups, then watch actor runs. And then here you create the webhook. Just name it something you recognize. I'm going to name it YouTube test. And then you're going to find the task or the actor from the list. And if you run through the actor at least once, as I showed you, then you should have this here. And for me, it's the YouTube testing. And click save. And now save this whole module. And the next step is also going to be Appify. And, and here choose the get data set items. And now go to this data set ID and search for data. And here you can get the default data set ID and pick this one. And then all the other things you can leave it as is, or the limit is by default 100 results. Actually, you could have up to 200, maybe even more posts per day. So it depends how many results you want to get. So let's say 200 posts. And remember, these are all of the posts that are getting scraped, not only the ones that have your leads in it. And then you can just save it. And let's go back to Appify. And here's the task that I want to run. And let's just run it once so we can see if the data is coming through to make.com. And now it's scraping all of the results. And it's going to take a bit of time. Okay, it's done. And now it found 60 results. And let's see if it also went through make.com. And yes you can see that the data has come through 
and it's all here. So let's continue with the next step. And the next step is this module called text aggregator. So text aggregator, let's pick it from here. And we are choosing this get, get data set items module, the previous one. And then we also need to open up these advanced settings and the row separator, we're going to choose the new row. And then the text part that we want to put together, we want to search for Facebook URL. So let's pick this one. The next one is username, username, username here. And the last one is the text of the post. So here, let's put it back here. So basically why this is important is because from this previous output, we are getting so many of these posts and these are all in different bundles. It's a bunch of like technical things that you don't have to understand. Just do what I've been doing or get the blueprint and it's already going to work. So here in this step, we are only taking the text that we find important, which is the Facebook group URL, the text of the post and the poster's name. And we are putting all of these posts together into one text file, basically. And then one more small step where you have to set up is adding this filter here. So click on this and we want to make sure that we're not scraping posts that are only maybe using an image because we can't really read the image. We can't really understand it. So we only want text-based posts that we can analyze with the help of AI. So here let's choose this text item and this filter has to be exists. So we need the text part to exist in order to continue with the automation. And you can name the post, the only post that have text and save it. And now we have built out a part that scrapes all of the latest posts from the Facebook groups that we want to follow and puts them together in a format that AI can now analyze. So let's continue with the next step. And now the next step is using some type of AI module. Here you can use ChatGPT module, you can use Claude module, DeepSeek, whatever you find most useful. Honestly, it doesn't really matter. They all will do the job quite nicely. I will use ChatGPT here. So let's find the module, create the completion. And here first you have to have some API access. So go to OpenAI. And then once you have created an account at the OpenAI platform with the API side, you have to buy some credits. You can just upload like $5. I think this is the minimum. And this $5 will probably last you for a few months. So it's very affordable, but you have to do this. You can also do it with Claude or with some other AI models. And then you can go back to make.com and connect your account. And here choose a model. Doesn't really matter. Let's do like GPT 4.0. This is a pretty simple task for AI. So all of them will be able to do it. The tokens I'm going to leave empty. So this is using the maximum amount of the model. And then we're going to create the system prompt first. And there is a prompt that I'm going to use that you can get if you pause this screen and copy it or go to aimarketingmasters.com and you will get this automation blueprint along with this prompt automatically. So the prompt is your job is to filter out the potential clients from a marketing consulting business, take these latest Facebook group hosts and only output the ones that are looking for services I might offer. Output only the posts that are relevant to me and in this format or say that there were no good matches this time if there were none. And the format is link, post, and name, and then doing this again for the second post and third post and so on. So this is the system prompt. And then we also will add a user prompt. So let's pick the role of a user. And here we are just giving the input from the last text aggregator tool that will have all of these posts in this format as well. And then we can save this module. And with this, we have set up the AI worker, and we are ready to continue with the fourth step, which is setting up the alerting system. And for this, we are finding a Slack module. And if you are not the Slack user, you can use some other tool that you check regularly. You can also send an email to yourself. It doesn't really matter. But for me, since I have the Slack app on my phone as well, and I use it every day, then this is the most convenient thing. So just find the Slack module and create the message. And here I have my connection already added and the text part, I will then just use this latest AI module and pick the result. Or you can get the same thing from choices. 
message and content as well. So basically, I think it's the new way of showing the results here. And then just save it. And now let's save the whole automation here and let's put it live. And now it's time to test it. So for this, even though we set up the schedule twice a day, I don't want to wait so long to test it out. So I can just go back and open up the task again and run it. So it will take less than a minute, but quite enough time. So let's go back to make.com and let's wait for this to run through. It already started running and right now the AI worker is going through all of the posts and finding the most relevant ones to output. And now it's done. So let's go to Slack and check it out. And it did send all of these posts that are relevant to me to the Slack channel. Of course, I can go through these and check if they are actually relevant. And now for the last and final step, which is reaching out to these customers. So let's find one of the posts that we can reach out to. So checking these out, actually none of them are that relevant. And I'm not really that surprised because I picked those groups really quickly just for the video. And my prompt is also too general. So these are the things that I can definitely put more effort into and get better results. But one of the things to remember, once you start reaching out to this people, I have four tips for you. First, mention something specific that is in their post and don't be too general and salesy about your offer. And the second tip is that you should offer some value before you start selling your services. So start by giving out some small tips that would help this person without being too salesy upfront. And the third tip is to position yourself as a problem solver, not somebody who wants to sell, but somebody who wants to solve really good problems. And the fourth tip is not to jump into their DMs, but use the public post and ask if they want more information and the permission to reach out privately. And if you want really good results, definitely respond within 24 hours. And it's even better if you can do it within the first hour. And if you have some type of portfolio or an example you can use, then definitely lean on that as well. So this system gets you leads that are actively searching for something, but there is something even better. You could have your potential customers reach out specifically to you. And for that, you have to have a really good content system in place and to use AI to help you out with that, then check out this next video. I'm giving away my whole content system that uses my human ideas and thoughts, but also some AI automation.